Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I'm a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I'm licensed in California and Oregon. I prepare monthly reports that look at home values and market trends in 14 communities from Newport through Irvine, Foothill Ranch, Portola Hills, Tribuco Canyon, and out to Ladera Ranch. These reports can be accessed on our website at joe-richter.com under a navigation link named Market Trends Monthly Update. In this report you will see we crunch a lot of data. All that data comes from the MLS. We've made the same data accessible on our website at joe-richter.com under a navigation link predefined community listings. This report focuses on Foothill Ranch single-family homes. It covers the period from January 1st through May 31st, 2020. The monthly headline is New Listings Recover Lost Ground and Contracts Written Keep Pace. Foothill Ranch had 12 new listings in May, its best month of the year. Foothill Ranch is currently a seller's market with 1.2 months of inventory. Chapman University defines a buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. In the blue line, we see inventory levels are low as compared to the prior five years. Monitoring the active listings provides insight into trends that may be developing that impact home values and inventory levels. Currently there are 80 ac active listings. There were 26 new listings over the past 90 days. Seven of those are still on the market. In this next section we will be discussing the three essential steps in the selling and buying process. They are new listings which reflects a willing seller a contract written which reflects a willing buyer and closing is the execution of the technical aspects of the purchase contract by the buyer with the lender's cooperation. Compared to 2019 through the same period in 2020 new listings are up 2 percent contracts written are down 8 percent and closed sales are down 13 percent as noted new listings are up two percent in our last report they were down three percent as expected april dip due to the stay-at-home order but nothing was holding may back the best so far this year and good news fannie mae is forecasting very strong third and fourth quarters contracts written are down eight percent with the exception of April, 2020 has been a very solid year. Closings do follow contracts written, so they've taken a downturn in May. We expect an upturn in June. Closings are down 13% in 2020 compared to the same period in 2019. Home values are always the most important subject sellers want to talk about when we do a listing consultation. In Foothill Ranch, values are holding steady relative to 2019, running down a very slight three-tenths of one percent. The average list price for the active listings is $948,000. The range on the active listings is from 749000 to $1,025,000. Monitoring the 90-day closing trend is important because recent closings are used as a primary metric to determine pricing in appraisals and CMAs. The range is typically between 90 and 180 days depending upon the amount of data available. We use 90 days because our markets are robust and have plenty of activity and we do these reports every 30 days and seasonality has less distortion on the data. For example, 
If we went back six months now, we would have November and December 2019 data in our model, which is totally irrelevant information to include in what is going on in today's market. Over the last 90 days, 20 homes have closed. 11 of those sold below revised asking price. Two sold at revised asking price. Seven sold above revised asking price. This is totally normal data distribution market activity for the Foothill Ranch community. Days on market is a key factor because it is a predictor of market activity and a leading indicator of inventory levels and potential changes in market type. DOM is the time from activating the listing on the MLS to getting an offer accepted and a purchase contract signed. Normal time in a normal market would be 30 to 45 days. The DOM for all active listings is 29 days. It was 48 days in our last report. To be clear, the drop is less due to an increased pace in sales and more due to a large batch of new listings that have only been on the market for less than 30 days. Inventory levels are the primary determining factor used to define the market type as either a seller's market or a buyer's market. Chapman University defines a buyer's market here in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. The current inventory level of 1.2 months is fairly common for Foothill Ranch. While DOM leads into inventory levels, other metrics are also indicators. To aid in forecasting, we monitor the trends of three measures of inventory. The first, 90-day trends, will give us a sense of a surge in new listings or contracts written. 90-day inventory rose 60%. Second, year-over-year -year inventory helps measure how steady and dependable a market is. Year-over-year -year inventory is down 61%. Monitoring the month-by-month -month comparison lets us check for abnormalities in the seasonal trends. May 2020 compared to May 2019 is down 55%. By now, you must have noticed we crunch a lot of data to present this level of detail. We get this data from saved searches on the MLS. We put the raw data into our proprietary statistical models. No one else has this presentation. This map displays listing locations and thumbnails that are the public facing information of the data discussed in this report. Also as part of those saved searches is the listing detail shown as thumbnail images. These are summaries. Click on any of the images to get the full details of the listing. This table shows the current active listings. Note our outlier table in the lower right. It is used to determine if something is outside the standard deviation range. In other words, an outlier. In this case, the home that has been on the market 172 days is an outlier. It is highlighted in red. When we remove it, the average DOM drops to nine days because everything else has been on the market less than 30 days. They're all May listings. And this table shows all the closings so far this year. We also have an outlier table on this sheet. It looks at DOM, CDOM, list price, and close price. Note the outliers are highlighted in red. And here is the last bit of detail. This chart shows the home values of all the closings. The red dots represent the close price. The gray dot represents the original list price for the same transaction. Notice most of the gray dots are above the red dot, indicating a price reduction. However, there are several gray dots below the red dots, which show a price increase. Buyers and economic conditions set to market value. In closing, we would like to say thank you for patiently listening. 
We have tried to make this a high level overview and explanation of how the market is evolving. If you need help with your real estate needs or just have questions about forbearance or prices or DOM, anything at all, please contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. Again, thank you very much.